Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again. Your neighbor from the north, ready to bring you back some build content. It's the off season. There's not a lot of things going down, so it is up to us, at Buffalo Fanatics, to bring you guys a little something for your ears on your drive home from work or to work or to your mistress's place. But we're back, my Raptors. First of all, let me get something clear. I'm a Lakers fan. Uh, that's my squad, the purple and yellow. That's how we do. But you know what? You got to represent for the hometown team. However, the hometown team did not represent because we let the Lebronosaurus Rex come in and sweep the Raptors, put the baby dinosaurs to bed. And it got me thinking, man, yo, what do the damn Raptors need to do to compete? What kind of players do they have to draft to bring into the free agency? Then it got me thinking about my bills, right? and going in past drafts and seeing what we've done and it got me thinking 2016 why not revisit the 2016 nfl bills draft and you guys i'm gonna tell you right now it's a shocker it's a shocker and it's not a good one let's get right into it shaq lawson now here's the deal shaq lawson was brought in to be a run stout defender we knew his biggest strength was stopping the run but we also knew that he could help us in the pass rush, and that was something that we missed dearly. He was going to be the slated starter across the room from Jerry Hughes, but just never could get it together. He came out with the labrum injury. Check the stats. Y'all already know we actually broke that news, but keep it moving. Anyway, labrum busted. Got to go for surgery. So you know what? His rookie year was a wash, right? Second year, I'm thinking, all right, this is the year that we need him to step up disappointing underwhelming i mean let's put it let's put it this way his career stats right now 21 games he's got 46 tackles and six sacks right not horrible but not first round material i mean we want you bringing us double digit sacks and is that too much to ask double digit sacks if you're not getting double digits give us eight nine sacks you know what i'm saying so can i blame it on his injury sure but your second year in a defense that suits your needs hands in the dirt you've got to give me more production and i don't feel like i got that production from my second year man he's going into his third year so shaq lawson this is a massive year for you we need something huge for you you need to show it i'm talking about pro bowl type damn year now his best game for us was against the chargers four tackles and one sack modest modest i need more from you right your defensive end i'm not saying that you need to give me 15 tackles but i need to have those type of games on a daily basis and a lot of pressures on the quarter so and more interesting enough in that draft we uh, we let a lot of guys slide but the one name that stands out to me that got drafted a little after shaq lawson was miles jack could you imagine a team with miles jack instead of shaq lawson something to think about reggie raglan traded <laughs> so we brought Reggie Ragland in. He was actually slated to be the starter. He was battling it out with Zach Brown uh, and then tore his ACL. It's, it happens. Uh, it is what it is. Tore his ACL. Uh, and then the next year, he just was not suited to be in McDermott's defense. So we traded him for a fourth round pick, a 2019 Chiefs fourth round pick that we'll use next year. So Reggie Ragland on the Chiefs actually decided to, you know, me step up and show uh, what he's capable of doing. Um, and he actually had a decent year with 44 tackles. Uh, so I expect bigger things out of my man Reggie Ragland in the Chiefs. So Reggie Ragland traded. Adolphus Washington. Now this one is an interesting one because this guy has all the potential in the damn world. 6'4", 295 pounds, can play the five technique, can play the three technique, can even line up in front of the center right on the nose underwhelming and the, here's the crazy part he's got a little bit of baggage and this is what hurts right in college he got a little he got arrested my man decided to camp out of a little motel and uh pss, pss, hey pss, pss, trying to holler at some hoes man come on bro you a nice good looking dude college cat and you trying to holler at some you're trying to solicit some females come on bro you better than that so my man already has something on his rap. He took the plea charge, had to go to John school to not be a John. I don't know what the hell that means. But anyway, so my man went to John school, whatever John school is. 
to teach him not to John. <laughs> I don't even get it myself. But anyway, uh, so that's one thing on his rap sheet. Then he goes to the NFL and then gets caught for a weapons charge. Weapon all up in the car. And then he tried to play the whole, I'm a Buffalo Bill. You don't know who I am, that type of stuff. You know what I mean, celebrities. You know how they do. You can't pull stunts like that. But anyway, that being said, Adolphus Washington has a potential to be great. He can have a big year. And it, and it hurts 54 tackles, 3.5 sacks career-wise with one fumble recovery. And I remember that he stabbed that ball out of the dirt and picked it up. So he has potential to be great. He just has to push forward, man. You got to push forward. Cardell Jones, Ohio State, traded to the Chargers for a fourth-round pick. Cardell Jones, fifth-round pick. Cardell Jones, fourth-round pick, traded. For a seventh round conditional pick to the Chargers. Right now, he's just the backup. I had really high hopes for Cardell Jones, but it just didn't work out. So he is slated to be competing with Geno Smith from the New York Giants and the New York Jets. Uh, so good luck, my man Cardell Jones. I don't know what's going to happen with your career. Uh, but yeah, man, Buffalo, trade him. Get him out of here. Arkansas. Jonathan Williams, this one was a shocker to me. I like Jonathan Williams a lot because he was the guy that was supposed to replace the big boy, uh, Williams, Carlos Williams, that decided to just mail it in and just not really give a damn about his health and, and let himself go. You know what I'm saying? So we brought in Jonathan Williams. I'm thinking, okay, Jonathan Williams came off of injury. He had a slow year. He's going to come back, really bust it out, and then boom, we cut him out of nowhere. What? I thought he was going to be a great back going into our system a big strong back that can still run but guess what we got rid of him we said peace the hell out uh picked up by the broncos got cut by the broncos and now he's on the saints in a crowded backfield i don't know how that's gonna work out i don't know how his career is gonna end up but he had potential to be in buffalo but man we shipped him out i didn't agree with it but we are where we are so my man jonathan williams traded he had tcu receiver colby listenby this one had potential he can take the top off the defense but you know what he just could not be healthy and not even that we let him go and when we let him go he tried to get himself back into the game and get back into the league but he just couldn't just quite get back to himself so what does he do he's actually in a legal battle with tcu and he's suing them because of harassment and abuse so every time i guess he got hurt when he was in college they said yo man stop you gotta man up and just get back in the game so what does he do he gets back in the game but he just kept on making himself worse which now has probably ended his chances of having an NFL career. And now, last but not least, you got Kevin Seymour. Kevin Seymour, we had him on the squad. I think he was supposed to do big things. He was actually coming along in the McDermott defense. He learned it, all that good stuff. 4-3-9 speed was just as fast as Kobe Lissenby. But guess what? We traded him for Kalen Clay, another speedster. But then we ended up cutting Kalen Clay. And then we brought Kalen Clay back in free agency after that. Anyway, my man got traded to the Panthers. He's currently still in the Panthers right now, battling out for the corner spot uh, for a slot position. Who knows what's going to happen with that? So that whole draft class that we got, yeah, man, <laughs> it is it, 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 not good. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It's not good. Let's recap this whole thing. The 2016 draft was a failure. All right, and it could be an even bigger failure if Shaq Lawson and Adolphus Washington don't get their act together because right now that whole draft class will be gone in two years. Are you kidding me? Come on, man, that's craziness. So, here's the bottom line Shaq Lawson, you have to get your act together because we brought in Trent Murphy for 21 milli, and then we brought in the African warrior Owa Edijizua. That being said, uh, we got two guys remaining on this damn draft class. Shaq Lawson and Adolphus Washington. What, guys? Y'all need to step up. Y'all need to step up. And right now it's gonna be very difficult because we got in, we brought in specific people in your position class that is gonna push you. And then we got Starla Tulele, and we brought in Harrison Phillips off a of draft. So, yo, gentlemen, your positions are not safe. Y'all need to step up this off season because right now. You have the ability to do good things with this team and be a rotational player or even a starter. But if you keep slipping, you might find yourself on another team this offseason. At least one of you could find yourself on another team. So I'm hoping both y'all can stay. 
Y'all got potential. Y'all can make things happen. Y'all can make this defense a lot better. But this game is not for long. It's the NFL. If you don't produce, you get the heck out of here. Anyway, I just wanted to drop that to you guys. How do you guys feel about that draft class? Was that a draft class that was supposed to be special? Or was that a bum-ass draft class that we just didn't do well? Is that Whaley's fault? Or was that Rex Ryan? Did we, were we supposed to even go back to the 3-4? I'm still pissed that we let go of Jim Schwartz and we brought in Rex Ryan. That's just me. Y'all tune in. Let me know. Put your comments in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about that draft class. It's your boy Rico. And I'm gone.